Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Saint stream. Today, we're going to have Overwatch Collegiate Championship. I'm Matthias, also known as Matthias, and today I am joined by the lovely Amanda. Commander Dupuy, how are you doing? I'm doing good, Matthias. Thank you for the lovely introduction. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, great to have you here. I know this is your first time in a long while, but it's a good one. It's Overwatch, a classic, one of your favorites. I know we've been grinding it out together quite a bit lately. So uh, what do we have on display today? So today... We have Saints Varsity versus Arizona State University. Yeah, and those are looking to be two very good teams. The Saints having pretty much an impeccable run all the way through. Let's take a look at the stats if we can pull them up. Here we have them. Saints just going absolutely flawless. The only team able to do that other than Winthrop. Maryville not too close, not too far behind, pretty close up there. And we don't see ASU, but I think they are. We're in a different uh, bracket there. Uh, yes, they did do very good. As you can see, like so far in this set, uh, they have gone five and one in comparison to our six and oh, which is pretty dang impressive if you ask me. I mean, I think their only loss was against Northeastern. It was, uh, yeah, I think it was against Northeastern. And then I think they also lost to Boise, did they not? No. Or was that in another place? So, in OWCC last year. Oh, last year they lost. Last year. My bad. In, well, technically it was homecoming at that time <laughs> before the whole, uh, the great uh, purge of Overwatch esports. <laughs> but, uh, yes, the, they ended up uh, going top 16 in homecoming last year. Uh, they lost to Boise 3 2, so it was a very, very close match. So they are a formidable opponent. Uh, last year, they also placed top six in NECC and top eight in NACE. Um, so, again, very impressive team. Uh, right now, they are in Texas for CCC. Wow. So I'd imagine they're playing from whatever computer lab they have there <laughs> on that land. I know some of our guys are there too for Call of Duty and Valorant. Um, but yeah. Anyways, two months ago, they won the Western Regional first place wow. to qualify for this land that's happening right now. It's like the the finals, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so the top eight got to go there. They did play yesterday against uh, Winthrop and Maryville. Oh. They went 0-3, sadly. Okay, that's a, to be expected, though. Those are some of the best. They are teams probably, are right yeah. behind the Saints, I'd say. They have, like, ex-Overwatch League pros on those teams and also some, like, new faces, new names, mm -hmm. you know, up-and-coming uh, teams. So, yeah, they did not do super well yesterday, but that also gave them the eighth seed. So right now, I believe, or the game that just finished, they were against Northwood. I'm not 100% yes. sure how that went. Uh, the standings might take a little bit to update yeah. on the website, uh, but I mean, if they yeah. won that, then they're still, <laughs> still in the tournament. They'd be a big high right now, or they yeah. could still be recovering from a loss, but uh, nevertheless, they are warmed up, but we don't have to ask ourselves questions any longer. We have the match ready to go into right oh, now. Oh, look at Here that. Beautiful. Capture. Oh, I love uh, Numbani. Uh, not Numbani. I know what you're talking I'm about. I'm crazy. University. I love yeah. university. I love this point. It's lovely. Like, it's got a nice big building in the middle, so you can do lots of funny things, especially like we can see Tread here with the Winston. Yeah, the verticality is amazing. You see the players are already doing that. Noxious finding a big pick off the start, taking out that Tracer Crime now going in, trying to take on these tanks. Tread doing an amazing job at holding off their backline as well. But now the cap is looking to turn towards St. Clair. But we're going to see a contest come out from Aurora. Yes, we will see Tread over here. Uh, just doing God's work. Look at this. Just, you know, the Winton buff, it is just, it is different. It is different, okay? Exactly. That's something we're seeing a lot. We're seeing a lot more Winston play, which is interesting. He's very, very good right now. Winston is probably one of the best tanks in the game. Yeah, up there with the Orisa, and if you can play it right, I think you can even beat the Orisa if you're playing the Winston. Actually, Orisa just got a nerf last week, so oh. she isn't as formidable as she used to be. So, hopefully... Saints won't have any problems with any Orisa uh, shenanigans today, but it looks like we just have the Winton for the win. <laughs> Speaking of winning, it looks like Aurora might have a hard-fought win right here. They're up top, already going to go down to crime. Gets the railgun shot to end that tank justly. Yes, we're going to see that our boys are going to just take out this Tracer if they can. Uh, Winton, go in here. We're going to see what happens. 
looks like J-Man is gonna get taken out. And the Saints just clean oh, up. No. Look at that. Hit by a car. It's tragic. Angel uh, decided that it was probably better to just get out there, you know, um, and regroup for the next team fight. Definitely, but man, being hit by a car is always just so brutal. Even if it, it's worse than jumping off a ledge, oh, the ragdoll yeah. physics. Oh, it's the funniest thing, though. What? It was this parkour happening what? here from Noxious. I didn't even know you could do that with Tracer, I'm going to be honest. Look at this. There's a Kitsune rush, double Kitsune rush, and gets the sticky as well on the back line, but we see the sound barrier committed. Now Noxious is going to be kept up right here. Tread also using an ult just to keep them from getting anywhere close here. And now he has to dodge these cars. He's being pushed back even further back from the back line. And now there is an overclock on the side of Arizona State as well. J-Man going in trying to be that spear to push in onto this point with 95, 96, and counting remaining. This is looking like this point is going to flip in the overtime. Well, yes, Saints are going down right now. Crime did have the overclock, but he wasn't able to get it off just before this fight happened. He was taken out. So I think if Saints regroup, do one more strong push, and commit uh, the overclock, they win the point back. I think they're going to have to worry about that sound barrier. They're going to try and have to lure That's that true. out first. That's true. There's also the Primal Rage, the Pulse Bomb. they got to be really careful because Arizona State does have three ultimates in comparison to R1, and we have nothing else. <laughs> nothing else. They have to play this economy as best as they can. They have a bad hand, but if they have a poker oh. face, they might be able to do it. Crime gets one. He's looking for another. He's going in there. They're leaving the rest of the team to handle the tank, and he gets sticky, oh. but the Sousa comes through. He lives. Huge plays by Red X, and now Crime manages to push everybody off of the site, but they haven't capped it just yet. The tank is still in there. J-Man getting one. Crime getting one right back, and now it's just a battle of the tanks, and there is the sound barrier as well from Arizona State. They're throwing everything they have into this. They need to keep this point just that much longer, and it looks like they just might be able to do it as the Saints are falling one by one and they're gonna have to reset. Well, we just saw Tread again <laughs> jump in front of a car here. So there is lots of traffic violations happening here. You know, you gotta be careful. Look both ways when you cross that street. Exactly, you gotta watch out. Those cars are going very fast, I must say. Yeah, I don't think any of them are adhering to whatever speed limit is there because uh, that's really fast. <laughs> Too fast. Speaking of fast, Noxious is going fast in here. He has got the pulse bomb, gets the sticky, getting that tank very, very low, has the Kitsune rush as well. This is going way past the speed limit. We're gonna break the sound barrier here as Tread is going in, getting one, looking to get another with the ult, traps him in the room. Can't quite get the kill, Angel getting one, but Tread manages to find the kill and the support, and now just this Lucio remains, but trying to run away, trying to contest all he wants. Leaving his backline to contest this Winston might not be the best play. Speaking of the sound barrier, Soaks is 2% off of his ultimate. Right now, he has it. If he pops it, there's a very good chance Saints win this because they can pretty much tank anything that Arizona State is going to throw at them. There's a Kitsune rush also, and 2% remains on the side of Arizona State. That's all that's between them and Victory. Red X getting a pick through all the chaos. J-Man trying to move in here with the overclock. Can't quite find anything at all, though. Soaks finds one. Now it's just a DPS and a support here. They're pushing them off of sight. They need to touch. They need to contest, but the Kirikil goes down, and that is looking to be the first sight. But no, the Lucio still contesting, trying to keep them in this, but the boop wins them the first point. And what a first point to start off at. Yeah, it looked like Saints were very dominant in the first half of this round. Uh, and then all of a sudden, Arizona State won a fight and Saints just couldn't quite get it back. Yes, they won a couple of team fights, but there was always one straggler or two stragglers from Arizona State holding it down, making sure Saints didn't reclaim that point because that would spell the end of that round. Yeah, like frying an egg in a pan without enough butter. It's just hard to scrape that last little <laughs> Yeah, bit exactly. Off. That that Lucio, <laughs> I'm telling you, the slipperiest guy and Tracer. They're both very slippery. Very so. slippery. Very good at contest. And the Kiriko, too. But looks like we're going to get a bit of a switch up on the side of the team comp of Arizona, going for a more brawly comp with the Ramatra and the Cassidy. Well, I love to see the Ramatra. You know, Ramatra is one of my favorite tanks. Matthias plays a lot of Ramatra. Uh, he's just a fun tank to play around, so. Lots of fun on that tank, but it looks like we're gonna have lots of fun on this point as they're already engaging each other. Arizona State staying a little bit further back, seeing their tanks engage each other now. It's like Tread's gonna commit to the punches first, and he's gonna have to back off. They're getting very, very low. The Saints might lose this first fight. Yeah, Red X almost died there, but I mean, he was kind of forced to use that immortality field which can be a little scary this early into defending the point. Uh, looks like Noxious is 
doing work here though. He's zipping around the point. Seeing if he can take out that enemy tracer. Not quite gonna have to retreat from that one. Looks at the Sins almost get the first cap, but now they all fall down as J-Man gets a clean double kill with Angelic cleaning it up. Now that all that remains is the Cassidy on the side of the Saints, and Crime needs to get out here. Well, that's the thing with Cassidy, right? Like, you beat a good Cassidy and your day's ruined. <laughs> Definitely, just, just so much damage you can land those headshots. Absolutely, and then also, they took away his stun, they added... Uh, the magnetic grenade that restricts movement. Yes, that's what it is. So, that's also a pain, because it's almost worse than being stunned, because you can just watch what's happening in front of you, but you can't move. <laughs> yeah, you cancel some abilities as well, any movement abilities you're unable to use, but now, Saint's in a position where they need to retake this site. Tread almost has enough for his ultimate. He's doing really good at charging that one up, and there's the high noon from J-Man getting a double kill, oh along gosh. with a tracer. It all falls down. The Saints push here is gonna be a failed one. They're trying to stagger Tread out as much as they can. He's forced to jump off, but J-Man still gets the ult charge from that. See, I'm very surprised because high noon is one of those ultimates that in high level is extremely hard to get value out of. Getting a double kill from a high noon, you don't really see that in oh. uh, pro play, collegiate, anything really like the high level uh, just because it's so like it's easy to just LOS but I guess in that situation on that point there's a lot of open space so if they're caught off guard in the middle of the team fight they might not be paying completely attention to it and uh, that's how things like that could happen yeah you're just uh, caught at the wrong angle it could be disastrous uh, crime is gonna push him he has a high noon of his own will he be able to use it for the same effectiveness as J-Man Noxious is going in here. He has the pulse bomb charge. They have a lot of ults on the board. The Saints are going to take it. Now is the time. There's the high noon. Oh, here we go. Here's the high noon. Again, like I said, very hard to get value out of this. Couldn't do a lot. Uh, Crime did try to take out that Baptiste, but J-Man just kind of hit that Cassidy diff right now and took him out. Again, he's going to take out Red X as well. Uh, it's called hindered. That's the that's the word. Yes. Tread gets taken out. Um, and I think even though Noxious got that pulse bomb, I think it's time to retreat for the Saints. I mean, he's going to try to hold on to that point while the rest of his team regroups here. They can retreat. This is it. If they touch, if they don't touch, it's over. Saints unable to even get a single percent on this oh, point. Oh, they made it back in time, though, with that Doomfist. Uh, just taking out as many people as he can here, but it's not quite working. Tread is going to take out uh, that Immortality field, but there isn't much they can really do. I mean, the Saints just kind of fall down at the end there. They struggled a lot on that point. They didn't even get a single percent on the board. It was just 100% going over to Arizona State. Very different showing from that first point. Now, I think we have a game on our hands here, folks. We're here going to point three. The thing is, with the control game mode, uh, is it's so different from any other game mode in the game that you really have to have a comp that can find a spot hunker down and stay and once you're like off point if you get like you know the other team comes in wipes you out it's hard sometimes to break back into the point with that same comp without having to rearrange everything lose your ult charge lose everything right so we see a lot of different uh i guess comps than normal in this game mode but it's always a good time Team that can protect and attack, and now they're moving in on this site. Once again, the Saints taking a lot of damage here. Tread separated from his pack is going to take a lot of damage. There's not a lot of heals, and they're going to force the immortality field. Now it goes down. The Saints still struggling to get on the point, but Aurora very, very low as well. Both tanks very low, and they goes down, and they win the tank fight. Now it's just a matter of taking out these DPS and supports. Yes, it looks like Noxious and Crime are getting picks or at least getting people low. And that's all you can really ask for. And as I say that, uh, it looks like uh, Annie Hu is going to take out Crime. Yeah, Annie Hu is going to take them down. And that one pick just kind of spelled disaster for the Saints, even though they won the tank fight. They were just unable to claim that because the May is like a second tank almost with how much survivability she has. Wow, J-Man is going to take out Soaks right off the bat. Aurora going to take out Tread. Saints? You know what, at this point, jump off the map, whatever, regroup. That sounds horrible to say, but it is a valid <laughs> strategy. You do not want to be a straggler. No. You don't want to be the last one standing because then your entire team is staggered and they're just going to not be able to win those team fights. It'll be 4v5 and it'll just get all mixed up. You don't want that. It's better to just jump off the map, 
die. Respawn with your E. Exactly. The J-Man is still trying to go in here. He has the the back wall to shoot through. It doesn't quite find it. And there is the high noon as well from J-Man. Now they're forced to hide here. Someone might go down, but I don't think it's going to be good enough for them. But Aurora going to take down Red X without their support. I'm sure the rest of the Saints are going to fall very soon. But there is the ult from Tread doing good work here, but it's not going to be enough as they all fall down once again. They're just struggling to find any way onto this point. Yeah, this is looking very rough for Saints. Crime just not going to be able to get out there. Saints do have the high noon, and they also have the uh, bap window, so our amplification matrix, <laughs> if we want to be technical. Um, they're very close to on Noxious's alt, so we could make something work here, especially if you want to combine that May alt with the high noon, it can be very useful. Use the window as well. Try and push onto the site, but no, there's so many ults on Arizona State. The pressure from the front and the back is not going to be good. Oh. That high noon got no value. There's the blizzard from Noxious trying to move on to the site any way they can. Tread on the back line, trying to open this up somehow. Be oh. forced to jump, gets moved. And now, with 96 99 and no contest in sight, this first point's going to go over to Arizona State University. You know, I wasn't expecting that. The first map in this game looked very dominant for Saints, even though Arizona took it back and it was neck and neck at the end. Um, it looked very much like Saints were going to take this. They, they were going to just keep that momentum. But, I mean, the second map, as you can see here, Anhu getting tons of value. Uh, J-Man as well with that double dead eye. What's up with that, right? Yeah, that, I think, kind of swung that point. And maybe that was our first hint that Arizona had a little bit more sauce than we bargained for going forward. Because it was really that team comp change that the Saints really started to struggle. On the Winston, ditto. Did amazing. But on those consecutive following points they just did not do very good with the Ramatra comp yeah it uh it looked like the Ramatra was not working as great for them the Winston that very dive heavy mm -hmm. comp they excelled at Perfect. they did great but the, the problem is as well yes the problem is though sometimes you can't just run the comfort picks or you can't just run exactly. the dive comp as great it is as it is and like low elo you could just throw dive a uh, dive comp in. You'll probably win, maybe. <laughs> you know, you're messing around with your friends. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. But when you get to this level of play, you have to be extremely st strategic about the team comps that you choose, the heroes that you choose. And it just seemed like Arizona State had the the better kind of like matchup here. They they had the better heroes, the better like almost skill on those specific yeah, heroes, exactly. right? That is more their specialty. Exactly, yeah. The Ramatra comp definitely seemed to be more their specialty. So maybe that's just a map diff. You know, you're forced to run certain comps on different points, different maps. So going forward, I think if the next point is a more Winston center point, even if it's a more Arisa center point, I think the Saints are going to do a lot better. It's just, I don't think Tread is the best on Ramatra. That's not no. his best. He's very good on Ramatra. Oh, don't get me wrong. I think the Doom and the Winston is where he... That's where shines. he shines. Those That's fast shines. <laughs> heroes that just jump on you. The dive comps. Exactly. exactly. The That's dive. the thing. That's the thing. So I'm wondering what the next map is going to be. It's going to be a payload map. Do you have any guesses? Anything you want to see from either team? Well, I always love the, the classic King's Row, or as we in the broadcast uh, room like to call it Saints Row. Um, <laughs> so I would love to see that. I have the next map, by the way. I you do? From people in the back. It's going to be Hollywood. Hollywood. All right. All right. So you could run the Winston on that map. You I think can. Yes. Very, very good on that Especially map. that first point to mm -hmm. capture the objective with the payload. You can just dive right on in there, jump over whatever defenses they have and clean up. Uh, if that doesn't work, then I mean, try, try again. Plan B, right? Just try exactly. something else. Exactly. But going forward, I think we will see the Winston once again. We've also seen a lot of echo and verticality played on that yes. map, especially on once the payload's captured, that wide open area with all the houses. There's lots of high areas you can dive in on, use the verticality to your advantage. So I think we might see the echo. Pharmacy also True. <laughs> just the classic on Hollywood, especially jumping up over that building above the point and just raining it down. <laughs> you know, a damage boosted far, a scariest thing. You can also get that with Echo. You know, I think Echo has a lot of value. But it looks like we're going to go straight into the map here. 
and uh, we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, no echo, but looks like now we're seeing them play that Winston into the comp they tried to play themselves last time, that Ramashra comp. Arizona State looking very good. I don't think we're going to see the Pharmacy this time, Five, but maybe four, once these points three, change up, we'll see something two, different. Yeah, for sure. One. And one thing with the Saints, too, is that a lot of times they'll lose the first map, and then these next two maps, for some reason, it's like, a total shift, and they just end up doing better. So we'll have to see if that rains true today. For sure. Now, it looks like they're going to take the high ground here. Prime on the defense, trying to hold them off. They're going to be doing a good job at keeping them just hold in this tiny room. Lucio trying to get some picks, trying to be a little annoyance, and that's what he does so well. Now oh, Prime yeah. with a lot of charge on that shield, charging that railgun to full capacity before just that big snipe. Yes, looks like Noxious, Noxious here is going to do a little bit of damage here on the back line, trying to take people out. Red X actually going to take out J-Man. That's a pretty big pick, even though Tread went down and Noxious now goes down to Anhu. Uh, it's looking very back and forth. Very back. Going to Saints, I don't think they have a pick just yet, so it's not going their Saints way. At this point, he's looking to be capped in no time at all. Tread going to go in for the contest. And the Astro, at this point, Tread fighting the Lucio in the back line could be huge. Red X finds one as well. This could be a start of something great for the Saints. They just need to take care of this Ramatra and friends. Now Red X finding another. Tread finding another. Going in here, going in on this Cassie, diving in. That's a dive comp working. It's magic. And now, with a team wipe, the Saints save it at two ticks. See, Winton for the win. That's all I gotta say. It's in the name. It's in the name. It's literally in his name. So, <laughs> I mean, that was a very good cleanup for the Saints. Um, if they can full hold this point, then they only need to get two and a half ticks here on the objective. So we'll have to see if they can do that. Again, though, I love seeing crime on the Sojourn. I think that's like where he just absolutely excels. I know he's great at snipers too, but I just love seeing the Sojourn, Crime on the Sojourn. Crime on the Sojourn is a sight to be old as well. He has the overclock as well. The Saints can stall this point out longer if they choose to commit some ults here. Oh, but not just going down. This is not going to be a good start. We're going to see the Kitsune rush committed from Red X trying to keep his team up. But anywho, getting a double kill, taking out a DPS support is going to be disastrous for the Saints. Prime forced to use this overclock here, unable to find much value. And now the sneaky comes up for Tread, forced to use his ult as well. They're just trying to stall it support for time at this point. As it looks like it's going to go over. There is a mistake, but Crime finds one. Maybe turn things around here. There's the sound barrier as well. Tread going to be up even further. The Saints looking to close this one out, the sticky on the Winston, the Cassidy's not going to go, gets a kill on the Winston, Soak's going to go down, and Jell's going to get one right back, this is absolute chaos, the point cap goes through for Arizona. Wow, that was, that was just an absolute mess there of a team fight, I was kind of just looking at it, I'm like, I can't tell you what's happening right now, there's, <laughs> so much I'm seeing the kill feed, I'm seeing just absolute brawl, I'm seeing Ramatra just throwing punches, you know, <laughs> uh, but it ended up being a win for Arizona State, just showing how truly formidable of a foe they are. And the crime, though, starting these off with a good pick. You know, that Lucio's going to be key going forward. Mortality Field goes down. You know, they can go in. As you see, the Winston goes in with the dive. Tread finding one, not just finding another. This is looking like a team wipe for Arizona. Only one's left, and that's going to be it. Wow. See, like, Saints can clean up a fight so quick if given the opportunity. But if there is J-Man there with his sneaky little Cassidy takes out one or two of the Saints, then it's over for them, you know? Like, when they have all five, they're able to clean up those fights. But when they don't, it's very, very difficult for them to kind of clean up and finish that fight. Definitely, the Saints truly shine when they have that opening. They know how to use the advantage state perfectly, but I have to compliment Arizona State. They also perform very well in the disadvantage state. They can bring themselves back from the brink. Absolutely, they. that is one spot where they excel. It seems like even if they're down a player or two, they are able to kind of climb back up uh, figure out what needs to be done, and then come back and win that fight. Oh, well, there's a Kitsune rush, but it doesn't go quite too well as any who takes one down immediately. Not just trying to escape this Ramatra ult, unable to do so, though. I think he does do it, but just barely. And now, with a Matrix up as well on the side of Arizona State, we're going to push through this next point relatively uncontested. 
Yeah, Saints do have the Pulse Bomb. They have uh, the Overclock. They almost have two more ultimates as well. Arizona State will maybe have Deadeye. They do have it now. And maybe a beat if they're lucky, but, you know, it's going to be a little bit difficult for them to win this fight, uh, theoretically, alt-wise. You see Crime use the overclock, gets zero value out of it, unfortunately. A little bit of pressure on Arizona, but they do all too much. Now we see Tread up here, up top, going to commit the ult, going to get sticky, oh, going to get bursted see. down, but Noxious going to get the trade on the Cassidy. There's the sound barrier as well from Soaks. The Saints are not going down without a fight. They want to stop it here at this choke. Absolutely. They don't want this to go any further than it needs to. Uh, it looks like, though, Saints are able to regroup here, kind of dive back on the payload here um, and take the high ground. I think they're looking to stop it here just before the next point. It is a little bit easier to hold this area, especially with the quick spawns for the Saints. Exactly, this is where they want to hold it. They know if it gets to that checkpoint, it's probably going to go all the way to the end, and they don't want that, especially with how close these games are. Red X, you know, TP up top gets saved by the Winston and saved the Winston. No, but there, with one minute, half, 30 seconds remaining, Arizona State just needs three meters to push this card. Seeing Aurora go off, get the pick on the Winston. Anywho, getting a pick as well, and now they cap the point, getting another minute and a half to bring it all the way to the end. This is crazy. Uh... You know, as soon as those picks come out, especially on the tread, especially on your main damage dealers, um, it's very difficult to kind of win that fight because you're just not doing the damage to get rid of the people that need to go down, right? To be able to kind of come back. Especially like that being said, you take out a healer right off the bat, you take out Kiriko, that fight's over as well. Like Lucio does not have that kind of sustain. Definitely. We're looking for the Kiriko here. Oh, they're looking to have a little bit of trouble pushing around this first choke. This first corner giving them a lot of trouble. They know if they lose this one, if the Saints lose this, it's going to be smooth sailing from here. I know Arizona wants this from Matra ult for that last push. There's the Kitsune rush from Red X. Going to move in here with the Winston. They're not going to get too much value out of it. Oh, the Ramatra ult's going to come out. Saints just need to get away, but it looks like Noxious is going to die to Anhu anyways here. Red X trying to keep his team up, but Aurora just too strong with that uh, Ramatra ult and also the big punchy mode, just running around, <laughs> punching people in the face like nobody's business. Crime is going to take out Anhu, but I don't know if it's quite enough here. It's going to be very tough. They're right in front of that first point. Only 30 seconds running for Arizona State. They did it last time. Can they do it again with no alts in their pocket? They might have a high noon back there in Saints looking very good on alts. I think they might be able to stop it right here. Absolutely. It all depends, right? Like, depends on how this goes, especially if Angelic gets the beat, which it's looking like they might. Oh! Well, the Big. Immortality Field saves him, though. Noxious just taking that out instead of his life. They end, end up getting Z-Panther. There's the overclock from Crime as well. Tread getting kills as well. There That's we going to be a team wipe from the Saints at the last second. No touch, no overtime. And they stop it at two meters, at, or two points, and 67 meters. It almost Score. makes me Zero. want to question, like... Did they wait until that very last second for a reason? Do you think that way they wouldn't give them enough time to regroup and come back? I think so. They didn't want to force the overtime. I think that's maybe a strategic push at that point. I think the Saints are feeling confident to bring this one all the way to the end. Absolutely. You can see here, Cart, just where that garage door is, uh, not quite home free. I mean, that's got to be a very angry, angry client there in that Definitely. limo. Uh, I know whenever you go near That's the limo. That's a star on Uber. Yeah, usually <laughs> he's very upset that uh, his car is not moving fast enough, you know, when you escort him through the whole uh, Hollywood map. So <laughs> I'm sure he's just fuming that he has to walk a few extra meters. He's going to miss his shoot. He's gonna exactly. Miss, he's going to have to walk five meters Yeah, up there. well, then his lovely hair or whatever Omnics have. Uh, his sheen. Yes, exactly. It's going to wear off. Yeah, but. exactly. He's freshly oiled for this shoot. <laughs> yeah, you got to keep those gears nice and loose. Exactly. For but speaking of nice movement, we're going for a dive heavy comp on the side of Arizona, going with the D.Va tank. I like the pick. I like the D.Va pick. I like it a lot, actually. I don't think it's as meta as it used to be, but still a very solid tank to pick. This meta, you can kind of play whatever you want as long as you can perform. 
Yeah, I do like the D.Va into the Maga, but I mean, Winston, I think Even he can still get value against the Winston comp. Yeah, those shotguns deal so much damage because his hitbox is just absolutely massive. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and then also Saints have Crime, Noxious, Soaks, Kiriko, a whole bunch of, uh, you know, things that D.Va can just a defense matrix eat up. So. Definitely. Crime can't get his uh, bar filled on that defensive entrance either, which he could on that Ramatra. So now, a little less value on the Sojourn. Now, oh, big sticky doesn't quite do it though. Tread takes out J Man, and now the Saints having an amazing first to push onto this point. Absolutely. Tread taking out J Man here is a huge pick. Uh, it looks like Soaks is going to take out Angelic. So it Looking like this first point is going to go to Saints unless D.Va tries to jump in there to contest, which it looks like uh, D.Va will not do that. And wow, going over in no time at all. They only took them the one to push. They didn't even lose their first fight. Saints having a lot of time to push this all the way to the second checkpoint. Absolutely, which is the biggest thing. Overwatch is all about time manipulation. You know, how you use your time, how you kind of budget that time, really, uh, to ensure your victory. We have Noxious with the Pulse Bomb here. He looks a little bit eager to use it as well, trying to get in on this back line already. We see J-Man up top trying to put some cover fire for his team. Not going to play fine all too much, though. Aurora here on the cart contesting, making sure that cart does not move at all. And nice pick on Tread. Yeah, we can see here Aurora and Anhu just doing work here. Angelic is going to join in. Saints are falling down one by one here. Yeah, that's not something you usually see. You don't see the pushback to spawn on the second point yeah. quite so early. And now, you have to have a big fight to even just push onto this card. Yes, this is going to be a fight indeed. Nox is going to take out Anhu right off the bat. High Noon comes out, doesn't get any value, but oh, Aurora takes out Crime. Yeah, it brought Crime down to one. And Get that J-Man going in on Noxious as well. <laughs> and then there's the Immortality Field and the Winston all going in. Getting very, very low. Forced to use the Sound Mirror to keep him up. It's not going to be good enough to get a little bit of progress on with the board. But now Arizona State holding this like I've never seen before. Yeah, this is crazy. Especially like Saints are borderline spawn held right now. <laughs> so it's a little bit difficult to try to break out of spawn, to try to get past this little like garage door kind of gateway here uh, and get back onto the payload. Yeah, they had to commit two ults even to just push it a few more meters further, but it looks like it bought them just enough room to play in. And now we're seeing them go up the verticality to try and challenge in this Eva. They have the pulse bomb, they need to time it right, but J-Man is getting the pick on Soaks. It's gonna be absolutely disastrous. Noxious going in even further, missing the Pulse Bomb as well. That's going to be bad as they all, three of them fall down. Tread not too far behind. And now, they're going to be stuck in this second stretch here. This is the most brutal part of this map, in my opinion. There's so much high ground that it's really hard to bring that payload through there because you need to sit on the payload to bring it through. And, I mean, your team could be off fighting somewhere else or whatever, but you still have that Tracer, that Lucio, any of these fast characters, D.Va even, to come and just stall out that payload, take off your support, and then your team kind of falls apart. Yeah, and Arizona State doing an amazing job at cycling these alts, just not letting the Saints have a single good fight for themselves. And now, just struggling to fight on this high ground. They switched their Matra to try and use some shields to get some extra cover in here. But it's not working out too great. J-Man using the high noon once again, looking for something. Finds crime through a single pixel through two crazy. doors. That was crazy. I didn't even see crime there. I'm going to be honest. I saw D.Va. I didn't see crime. I barely saw it as well. There's the Matrix as well from the Baptiste. Aurora taking one down as well. Tread getting one. Trying to push on through, stay up, but it's not going to be enough. Even with the Kitsune Rush, the Saints are just not able to push this one on through. Yeah, this is going to be a very difficult fight for Saints. Yes, they have just under two minutes left, but I mean, it seems Arizona really has their spot. They found how to defend this high ground, especially here, and nobody is going to knock them off of it. 
one's gonna knock them off the high ground, and the Saints are just unable to get any momentum here. They have to take these massive fights, and then they're a little bit too worse for wear to take this cart very much far at all. Now we've seen a brawl on the bottom. Anywho, taking out Noxious once again. This Tracer is just so dang annoying, and they're unable to take him down as well. Red X going down without a support and a DPS. We're gonna have to just try and regroup for the next fight. Absolutely, it's almost not worth it to really continue this fight. Tread's gonna go down, uh, and as long as no other Saints, just I say that, uh, crime is gonna go down. Although Noxious does take out Anhu. Soak's doing some good solo carry on the payload, taking it a little bit uh, around that corner. I don't know if I would have done that because now Soak's is extremely staggered compared to the rest of uh, his team. And there's four ultimates on the side of Saints, yes. But they could have had two team fights instead of one that they're now only gonna have time for because there's about 35 seconds left. Yeah, on this the is do or die for the Saints. Just a little bit further, just one more quarter of a stretch of land across. Just gonna bring it around two corners, two chokes is all that stands for the Saints and potentially victory. There's the high noon from Crime, looking to get some value here. Can't find any heads, looking to find something. Doesn't find anything, not even damage, and now. They're gonna push on through. There's a high noon of his own. J-Man looking to show how crime, how it's done. Doesn't find anything either. It's enough coverage as is. And now Nox just gonna go in for the Tracer here once again. He needs to win this one. Aurora getting one, Anywho getting another, and another. The Saints falling apart. Too many alts to spare. It's the overtime. We're gonna see the annihilation be committed, but Tread goes down. Nox just finding one. Going for the contest. Self-destruct is gonna clear the area. And with no one left to contest, Arizona State gonna get the second map. That's crazy. I, see, this was the thing. This was like, I don't wanna say sleeper pick in this bracket because they are very strong, don't get me wrong. Arizona State, I, I'm i gonna be honest, I underestimated them a little bit. This is, this is crazy. This is a little bit of an upset in my own mind. I know Arizona yeah. State is up there, but this is like not even close for the Saints at this point. Like they do an amazing job. You think, wow, they did a great job at holding that point there, right where they want them, right? They're in a position where if they just take it a little bit further to perform at the same level, they'll do even better. They'll be able to win this map out, take the map easy map usually for the Saints. But now, that it's not what we usually see. They couldn't oh, even yeah. push it to this first checkpoint. Well, the thing is, too, uh, Saints, there's, I'm going to expose them a little bit. There's a couple members on Saints that uh, do compete in the OWCS. I won't say what team. Uh, you guys can go find that out for yourself. Uh, I don't know if it's something <laughs> they want to advertise. But um, anyways, they are playing at the technically the highest level of play that they have right now. Uh, Noxious played in the World Cup for Team Canada. This is a team that, and you know, we don't... Well. We don't see them lose. Yeah, Tread is Tread up there. Tread too, yes. Tread is... O -W, not OWCC, but... OWCS. Yeah, OWCS. Yes. Yes. Like, yes. basically the Tier the 1 division. of Overwatch right now. It's kind of a mix of, like, Tier 1 and Tier 2. They're finding their footing right now. Uh, <laughs> Collegiate's almost like the Tier 2 now. But I digress. Uh, very formidable team. Um, I am not super aware of some of the names on Arizona State, but I'm sure I will be soon because they are absolutely just cleaning house right now yeah they're right up there with the best of the best just absolutely maybe the saints are having a bad day i just don't know maybe new update is more in arizona state's favor i like i, I have so many questions here Me too yes and like i think this could go for a reverse sweep but i don't know if the saints have it in them right now after just losing those two games it's definitely rough it's very hard on the mental after losing two games like that right especially when you are usually the top dog or like up there. Yeah, like I think pretty much undefeated in the round or yeah, in the previous I think in the other pools, than and then the round rubber and they're they're pretty much undefeated as yeah, well. Yeah, I think other than Maryville, maybe Oklahoma Christian, I can't quite remember. Uh Saints haven't really lost much at all this season. So it's it is a little bit nerve wracking to see such an upset almost. You know, another very good team, but like I know Arizona State has always been like pretty good but i didn't think of them like up there you know what i mean and maybe i should maybe i should start exactly. thinking of them like that i think we have some new recognition some new found respect for arizona State absolutely years, even more than before oh yes but now going forward it's gonna be saravasa and we do have a trade out on the team for the saints which we're switching out crime for razor okay that's interesting it is interesting that is a very interesting pick 
Maybe Crime's aim is just not on it today. I know he didn't get as much value with those overclocks as he usually does. He usually gets like an entire team wipe, but we all have some good and bad days, so maybe that's why the swap's coming out. Or maybe Razor is just a little bit better on some of the comps they want to run. That's what I'm kind of thinking, is that maybe Razor specializes more in other heroes. I know Crime is really good at those, like, sniper heroes, um, like, hit scan kind of, you know, Sojourn, um, Widow. Widowmaker, all that kind of stuff, right? I do believe Razor, he can play those heroes, but I think he specializes in a wider kind of array of things Same than Crime does. As well. Yes, he used to play support. I remember that. Um, but we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see after a short break, though, as we're just waiting to get into the game. But we'll see you very soon.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Arizona State taking two games in this series so far. A bit of an upset from Amanda and I's predictions. But now going into Saravasa, we've seen flashpoints before. Things get pretty crazy here. I do love me some flashpoint, I gotta say. I wasn't big on it. But then, you know, when I saw they brought hardpoint into Overwatch, I was like, you know what? This is actually really fun. This is different. I feel like we needed this. Yeah, but now we're seeing a major switch up on the side of St. Clair, going for the Mauga, Sombra, and Reaper combination, along with the Moira. We really don't see this. I actually see this in quick play. I was going to say, yeah, this is usually not a very popular... that's why. Yeah. As any who takes out Tread, taking him out very early, and going for a little bit more... Just a, a big damage dealing comp rather than survivability. The Saints not working out too great for them so far. Yeah, this is gonna be a little bit tough here to try to like, I don't know, get their mojo back after those two losses. Yes, they were very close, but you know, it still is disheartening, I guess, to have a loss like that. Definitely it is disheartening indeed. Go in. Looks like he is gonna try to make space here. Um, Sombra here has been detected, but it might be enough to move uh, over onto the point. Looks like Tread and Razor gonna take out the tank and the support there. Wow. Noxious gonna take out the other support. I mean, now it's time to just clean up. Yeah, big turnaround and no valley gotten from J-Man's overclock. And Noxious just going off on the Reaper. Getting pick after a pick. They flip the point. Maybe, just maybe this comp is the way to do things. Yeah, very possible. I mean, I do like the Sombra here, especially like with the Ramatra. You can just EMP his ult and then he gets no value. Yeah, you can just try and take that down. Okay, Honestly, this is looking pretty good. I actually am starting to like this comp a little bit more. It's harder to get going, especially when you lack the survivability. But Tread, that just does so much damage. Tread finding one right back. There is Anyo getting one as well. Panther, they're all falling down. And it looks like, anyways, this point is still going to flip for Arizona State University. Absolutely. Looks like Enhu just gonna hold on to that point there for their team and Arizona gonna take that first point like you predicted. Um, now we're going to go ahead, rotate to the next flash point. I'm gonna hard point. Uh, different Active Blaze game. <laughs> I don't even play Call of Duty. I'm an Overwatch player, <laughs> but we've watched enough uh, hard point over here at Saints that, you know, I have to be a fan of it. Exactly. Wow, what a Whoa. death blossom! But J-Man takes him down, but still gonna be a big death. Actually, the one gets one. I thought it was two, but it was the immortality field. But Tread and Radix still dishing out the damage going in here. Trying to get first control at this point. Anywho, doing so much work, though, taking out Radix. See, I have no idea how people control Maga like this. Oh, he just went down to Anhu. But, I mean, I have no idea how people control Maga like this, because to me, he feels like clunky and big, which is exactly what his character is, you know? That is exactly the way that he should feel, but for me, I'm like used to these characters with so much movement and they're like graceful and stuff like Mercy and Moira and <laughs> so all that fluidity. stuff. Very fluid, right? And then I play Mog and I'm like, oh my gosh, I just ran into a wall again and I, I, it's taken me eight turns of my mouse to turn around. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, he's definitely the, the mobile tank. He is the absolute tank with the two chain guns, too many guns you want to rally behind. That's just, you're a big damage, trying to be in a big annoyance, takes the damage that way. But nonetheless, this is looking to be a risky point. They're trying to get on here without committing too many alts. And there it is. Solo ults the Lucio with the Red X just to get the kill. Now Tread's gonna go in on this Sigma. Hey, I'm just saying, you're not a Moira player unless you use Coalescent selfishly, I gotta say. But J-Man, gonna shut it all down with that overclock. It's just insane. On who gonna take out Noxious. I'm sorry if I've been pronouncing these usernames wrong because I think I've changed the pronunciations like eight times, but I'm trying my best. You're doing a great job. Anu is the best tracer I've seen in a while. They're just so capable of getting in there. Absolutely. Takes every single time. 
know the Saints need to find some key picks of their own as it's 99 to get the contest in order. But it's gonna have to move quick. There they are, they throw the Lucio and the both supports on there, quickly dispatched by J-Man. See the Ramatra go in there on Tread, trying to just stall for some time. But him going down, they're just funneling it one in after another. Second point goes over to Arizona State, and now they are set up for the three sweep in the series here. This is scary. I mean, right now we can see in the chat, we see some spam this pair to help St. Clair because really, Saints need those pairs right now. Go ahead, spam them in the chat if you <laughs> feel like it. Give the Saints all of your pairs to help St. Clair. Uh, and we'll see if that will be enough to truly fuel them through and uh, make sure that Arizona State does not capture this last point because it will be the end of the series. Yeah, this is it. Everything is on the line right here. Tread picking the one and down, down Aurora. Now, needs to move on to this point as quick as they can. And they look like they just might be able to do this this time. Redix keeping everybody up nice and healthy with the immortality field. And they get first control of the point. Yeah, that's that's exactly what Saints needed. Whoever gets first control, I find, typically has a little bit of an easier time here just holding on to it. It's a lot harder to kind of break the point, get everybody off the point long enough to cap it, and then start ticking up the percent, right? As long as Nobody else is on the point. You're still ticking up. Exactly. You're still ticking up. You're still on the up and up. But Arizona State is looking to quickly change that. They have four alts on the board. Almost, Almost five. five. This is scary. I'm going to be honest. This is very scary for the Saints. We're oh, going to see it. Hack. big hacks, though, coming through. Razor gets taken down, but Noxious will- oh What a pulse bomb! Three kills for the price of one. Angelic gets the sweep. That's gonna be a team kill on the Saints. In just two seconds, they all fell down. Hold on one second. Let me pick my jaw up off the floor. <laughs> what was that? We saw the overclock get two kills at the exact same time as the pulse bomb getting three. If that's not play of the game, I don't know what is. That has to be play. That is insane and now the saints have the insurmountable task of pushing through the signal and the sound barrier they have they do have the hack so they can shut down a few of those but using both at once would not be a wise decision no i don't think so here i think the emp is best saved for you know even sigma's alt anything really that can just tear you apart and there we go we're gonna see the hack on a sigma actually trying to delay that ultimate as long as possible uh, because once sigma picks you up it's really difficult <laughs> to stay alive especially if this team starts focusing you while you're in the air there's nothing you can do no shield's gonna help you at that point no sir tread has to be the last stalwart bastion for this point there is the gravitic flux from the sigma Trying to find something, doesn't find much. As he gets hacked out of mid-air, Razor gonna get stoned, but it's not gonna be enough. There's the Immortality Field. This Sigma getting very, very low. Someone needs to go and contest, and they're gonna use the Sound Barrier. They want to win it all right here. Tread finding a one, though, with the Annihilation, but it's not gonna be enough as he's going down, but just might, as Red X is doing God's work, keeping him up and in this, and the point flips over for the Saints. I was not expecting that. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Look at this, Saints cleaning up right now. They they got their mojo back there. You can see they're feeling a little bit more confident. They're like, okay, okay. We can win this, guys. We can actually do this. So now that they have that point under their belt, one more and they tie it up with Arizona State on this map. It's like they say, a journey of a thousand miles is made with a single step, and this might be their first step into a reverse sweep situation. They can't lose a single point from here on out. It is do or die all the way down. Now, don't cast or curse them now, Matthias, because now I'm getting nervous. Now I'm getting nervous <laughs> that we've been hyping them up this much. No, 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 we can't do this, guys. We we definitely think Arizona's going to win. All summer old, but it's going to go down to the pulse bomb, but Noxious funds one right back. And now J-Man going off, getting a real good shot of his own. It's tit for tat on both teams, but now the tank and Red X go down. Arizona State looking to flip this point very soon. Matthias, what have you done? What have you done? You cast or curse them. Look at this. But anyways, regardless, <laughs> Arizona State, they're doing great right now. That rhymed. Wonderful. They are hoping maybe this would be at the last point in the entire series. They win it, they take it home, 
and move on with their day, right? That's when the pressure mounts when you're just that so close to closing it all out. That's when you begin to falter. They lost the last point because of that pressure, and now going to this next point, the pressure is sure to be intense as well as the Saints have some ults to use. They have the overclock and they have the window. Will we see the combo come through? One after another here. You know, this is, this is very scary because this is the last round in the group stage for the Saints. So, I mean, if they want to have a flawless group stage, they got to win it all here. And it looks like Razor is trying to make that happen. The sound barrier comes through on the side of Arizona State. They're going to stay up. Brawls happening on both sides. There is the ult from Tread. Going to do some cleanup crew here. But that is a lot of points going, or percentage going over to Arizona State. Absolutely. And I don't know if you noticed, but there is a whole lot of punches in the in the kill feed. It seems like <laughs> everybody's like, you know what? We're close quarters anyways. We're just gonna we're just gonna have a little fist fight. We're just gonna brawl it out and see who wins. And it looks like Tread with that big Ramatra form. Just punching away. Noxious using the overclock, trying to break through here, and big picks on the side of St. Clair. Oh they got God. five, four picks, looking for the fifth on the ticket, and they managed to do it. And now, if I'm not mistaken, there's maybe only one more team fight left in Arizona here for this point. Yes, definitely. And Razor does have the pulse bomb, which, you know what? Like, if everybody's on a point close together and they need to stay on that point to stall it out, it's sometimes it's really difficult to avoid that pulse bomb, right? But Saints are going to take that second point. It is neck and neck. It is sudden death right now. Whoever wins this point will win this game. And this could very well be the start, like you said, of the new journey of the reverse sweep. For sure, the Saints not looking too great on all charges, though. They have some good ones in store, but this is sure to be an explosive point indeed. There's 15, 14 seconds remaining left on this point. We're seeing the wall come through from the Baptiste on the side of St. Clair. Going to do a lot of damage, put a lot of pressure, but there's a double window on both sides. Yeah, the window and then the counter window. I mean, it's just a classic, you know? Looks like Tread gonna go in here on the point. Uh, Razor trying to see if he can get a pick before the fight even starts. On that Baptiste would be huge. Razor gonna take out the Mort, gonna stick that Baptiste. He takes out both of the supports with that ultimate. Tread is gonna start cleaning up. Yes, both of Saints supports are now down. So it's gonna really be a whoever is the last one standing. J-Man gets taken out by Tread, and Tread's gonna take out Anhu to wow. win that point for his team and just clean it up. He still has the Ramatra ult in his back pocket if need be. We've seen that Ramatra ult just wipes the entire oh, yeah. side. There's so much pressure, you can't have to move, you have to put very long range, but you just can't very well do on these close range points. If you pocket that Ramatra through his ult, he can just clean up, especially like if he's running at you, I don't think you can outrun him unless you're like a tracer or a really fast character. Definitely, they're trying to bait out this ult here, trying to put the pressure on Tread as much as they can. It's a huge brawl on both sides. There's a big pulse bump by Anywho, and now they're gonna move in here. Let's see what they can do. Razor going in on the back line, trying to take out a pick, trying to take out this Baptiste and Tread manages to do it. There's the ult committed from Tread. He's getting very, very low, shielding, shielding, but it's not enough to outlast the damage as J-Man takes him down. Now at 80% and climbing, the point is just looking to flip over, but Arizona State had to commit so many alts. But Saints had to commit an alt of their own as well. This is looking like an insane last point. See, the thing is here though, Angelic had to pop the beat at the very end to ensure that victory. So that's gonna be a little bit difficult when Saints come back with the overclock Hello. to be able to just like survive it. If Baptiste does not have immortality field, I mean, it's gonna be really tough. So I'd imagine Saints are gonna try to bait that out here, pop the overclock and uh, just see if they can make it work. Especially that BAP window combined with Overclock. Oh, oh, that just hurts. Definitely, it can do some lethal damage. And there it is, there's the window. There's the Overclock. Let's see the combo come through. Seeing oh! J-Man use an Overclock as well, taking one down, taking down Soaks. That's a lot of healing out of the game and movement. J-Man gets two, looking for a third. Angelic finds the third. The Saints are falling one by one. They want to stagger out this fight as much as they can to try and put the Saints in a worse position. This poor Baptiste Red X just barely hanging on, but he might get a pick out of it, oh! but he just does not quite do it. And now they're going to be a dead man down for the last potential fight. 
Yeah, so that is very scary. Looks like they do proc that overtime. Can they get on the point to touch? Yes, they do. The Doomfist comes out. Nox is going to take out Anhu, although Tread is going to fall to Z Panther. Somebody's got to touch point. Sojourn's going to try their the very poop. best here. They Looks do it. like it was just enough. We see the beat come out on point for Soaks. He's so low, and it looks like Arizona State just going to clean that up and take the series 3-0. 3-0, yes, but very back and forth. Very back and forth. That last game could have sh showed us a little bit of a glimpse of if this shaked up a little bit differently. The Saints kept this one very competitive, very much in vain of that first point. And here's Anhu's amazing three-person pulse bomb here. Like, look at this. Oh, my God. Oh. And J-Man in complete synchronicity getting the immortality field yeah. on the kill. Zero, probably, like, zero planning going in there. It no. just kind of happened. You know, they popped the overclock, uh, popped the pulse bomb, and everything just kind of worked out. Exactly. And wow, what an amazing day of Overwatch here. That was a great game. But boys, that's all we're going to have here for today. But let's go over our favorite moments. Aside from that pulse bomb, what's your favorite moment that happened here today, Amanda? Aside from the pulse bomb, mm, let's see. I think probably, again, it's the exact same map, actually. <laughs> when the Saints started turning it around, when they won that third point there, uh, and on just, that pulse bomb too, which on, was crazy. On the point with that pulse bomb, where they started turning it around, it was just like, you could see almost the way they were playing. They played more confidently, they played more together, didn't seem as dejected, didn't make as many like plays that were a little bit questionable. Very like, moved as a unit, and I think that was really cool to see. Yeah, definitely. I'll have to agree with you right there. But with all that being said, we're going to start to close things out here. So, congrats Arizona State for winning, but St. Clair still had an amazing run in this round robin tournament. Yeah, well, they will be going into the bracket, I do believe, next week for OWCC. So, you know, maybe it's just an off day or just not what a it is. Record. Yeah, they still went, I think, 7 1 after everything so, yes. said and done, or 9 1. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. 6 and 1, maybe. Or. Eight seven and one. one, seven one. I don't know. We'll see. There's a couple we'll see of later on in there. That's once everything's updated. Yeah, there's <laughs> lots of stuff. You can always check out our socials for that. Exactly. Saints Gaming CA on all socials, uh, such as Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is, you'll find us there. X. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yes, you can find us on any of these exactly. platforms. Stay up to date on everything Saints related. But with all that being said, we're going to close things out for real, real this time. So thank for you, everybody piece. in the back. Thank you, Daniil. Thank you, Mr. Danners, for observing. And thank you, Amanda, for joining me here up on the front desk. It's a joy to have you here once again, and it was very, very fun. Thank you very much, Relias. It's a joy to cast with you. And we can't forget to thank our sponsors as well, HyperX, Tim Hortons, Subway, St. Clair SRC, and the St. Clair College Alumni association we couldn't do this without you so thank you very very much and thank you viewers for watching with us right here we'll be back probably next weekend with more esports goodness so we'll see you then bye bye everybody see ya